morning and welcome to School of the Rock. I am Space Trooper Solar Storm, and I am an elite group of Homo Spaceans representing the UIE, or the United Interplanetary Explorers. We are about to embark on our first flight to Mars. These are exciting times for all of us Earthlings. This is my last weekend at home for a very long time. My fellow space troopers and I will be traveling in space for over two years. Even with our new fastest spaceship, the Phoenix 3000, space travel still takes a long time. Hopefully one day we'll have warp drive capabilities and be able to travel into the next galaxy. For now though, we will be content with visiting planets in our own galaxy. Now many of the other space troopers on this expedition are using this last weekend on Earth to do things like visiting family and friends or participating in favorite activities such as skiing or surfing or online video games. Me on the other hand, I'm here at the space station going over all of our travel plans one last time. It feels a little strange knowing that I will be leaving everything I've ever known behind and will be taking off into the great unknown. What an adventure it will be though. I know God wants me to do this and he has prepared me for this. I wonder if this is how Abraham felt when God called him to leave the only land he had ever known and follow him. That Bible story is a perfect one for us to dig into today. Let's say today's big idea together. God wants us to follow him. Our Bible story is found in Genesis 12, 1 to 9. It's important for us to remember that when we read the Bible, that the Bible is the word of God and everything in the Bible is true. And God speaks to us through the Bible. So let's listen carefully to what he has to say to us today in this story. Abram's father, Terah, took Abram, Abram's wife, Sarai, and his grandson, Lot, and moved from the land of Ur to Haran, where they settled down. After Terah died, the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's family. Go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you, and I will put a curse on anyone who puts a curse on you. All nations on earth will be blessed because of you. So Abram went, just as the Lord told him. Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. He took his wife Sarai and his nephew Lot. They took all the people and possessions they had acquired in Haran, and they started out for the land of Canaan. Finally, they arrived there. Abram traveled through the land. He went as far as the tree of Moreh, at a place called Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were living in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram at Shechem. He said, I will give this land to your family who comes after you. So Abram built an altar there to honor the Lord who had appeared to him. From there, Abram went on toward the hills east of Bethel, and he set up his tent there. Bethel was to the west, and I was to the east. There, Abram built another altar to the Lord and worshipped him. Then Abram left and continued south toward the Negev desert. Abram was a wealthy man who had originally lived in the city of Ur until his father moved him and his wife and his nephew Lot to the city of Haran. He and his wife Sarai had no children, but they lived a comfortable life among family and friends. Then, one day, God called Abram. He told Abram to leave everything behind and follow him, and he would make Abram into a mighty nation. Abram obeyed God, and his life was never the same. Abram traveled all around, but he kept following God's lead. 
God wants all of us to follow him. He wants us to invite Jesus to be our savior so that God's Holy Spirit can lead us on an adventure. God may never lead you to Mars like me, but like Abram, he will take you on a journey you'll never regret. God not only calls us, but he gives us story after story in the Bible to show us why we should trust him. The Bible tells us about Abram who trusted God and became the father of a mighty nation. It tells us about David, the brave boy who had faith to conquer a giant. It tells us about the disciples who were willing to give their lives for their faith in Jesus. Over and over, the Bible calls us, follow God and God will do great things through you. He will use you to help the needy. He will use you to share his love with the lost. He will lead you on an incredible adventure. How amazing is it to be used by God to help others and to lead them to him? Abram heard the call and he answered. He took the first step on a journey that would change his life. My hope today is that this won't just be the first day of a new series, but the first day of a real journey for all of us. Answer the call and let God know that you're ready to follow him. Let the adventure begin. I can hardly wait for this space adventure God has called me to go on. Next time I see you, I will be broadcasting from the spaceship. How exciting is that? This is Space Trooper Solar Storm signing off. Let the adventure begin. Bye. <laughs>